In the past 30 days, this YouTube channel has made from seven to $122,000 in passive income by creating faceless videos for kids. In today's video, I'll show you step-by-step -step how to create similar videos in just a few minutes. And all of that by using the power of some simple AI tools. Trust me, it's easier than you think. So, if you're interested in having a new passive income stream, keep watching until the end because I promise this video will contain valuable information you'll not find anywhere. The first step is to create a script for your kid's animation video. For this step, we will use ChatGPT. There are other great tools for this step, but ChatGPT is free and can generate wonderful scripts. We are going to use a prompt that has four parts. I'll write it in full in the first comment. The first part is what the script is about. Write me a short kids learning animation script about. And here, you simply add whatever you have in mind. I decided to go for a kids video about eating healthy food. I will add them to the prompt. Now moving to the next part, and it's the characters. Here, under the characters should be, you can write any specific character you have in mind, or even write something vague like animals and let the AI choose it for you. I chose avocado, pumpkin, and cupcake. I will add them to the prompt. Now we will add the last two parts to the prompt. Limit it to not more than three characters. This will help our editing phase, and also, it should take place in one sense background. This addition is going to make your life easier and save us time. If you want to have several senses, repeat the next step I will show. Now ChatGPT will generate a YouTube video script with everything we need. My recommendation is to copy the new part into a Google Doc so it will be more convenient to work with. The first step is done. The next step is to generate the voices for our characters. For this, we will use Eleven Labs, which is one of the best text-to-speech AI tools you can find. But wait! Make sure to read the script and understand the characters so you will know what types of voices you need. For this video, we will need a male voice for the avocado and two female voices for the pumpkin and the cupcake. A great feature of Eleven Labs is that you can go to their pre-made voices and there, under settings, you can check their tags and find some, especially for children's stories. If it's your first time, I recommend listening to all the pre-made voices and then deciding which one would work best for each of your different characters. After listening to them, I chose Finn for the avocado, Mimi for the cupcake, and Gigi for the pumpkin. Now, after we have chosen the voices, we need to start generating the voiceovers for each character. The first voice I'll be generating is Finn, who represents the avocado. I'm going to go back to ChatGPT, and in the section marked avocado, I'm going to copy this voiceover. Now, just return to Eleven Labs and simply paste it in, remembering to ensure you have selected the right voice, which in this case is Finn. Let's now hear how it sounds. Welcome, friends, to the Great Garden Debate. Today, we discuss why eating healthy is important for every boy and girl. Great. I love it. Now, just download it and repeat this process for the rest of your characters. As you can see, I numbered them as well as added them to a dedicated folder. It will help you later on in the editing phase. And the second step is done. Now let's start the fun part and generate the animated video. Start by going to Canva, which is a tool for creating videos. You'll find the link in the video description. In Canva, look for a YouTube video template and choose the blank option as your starting point for the animation. All right, let's get started on creating our template which we'll use for all the scenes. Here's the game plan. First up, we need to pick a background for our kid-friendly, food-themed animation video. I was thinking, how about a cheerful playground setting? You can find loads of background options in Canva under the Elements section. Just click on Graphics to check them out. Pick the graphic you like the best and adjust its size to fit your video's background. You can easily add more elements like animals, trees, or anything you have in mind in order to make it look more real. You do it by searching in the same elements section. Once you've picked out your additional elements, it's animation time. Click the animate button, head to create an animation, and then have fun dragging your elements around the canvas to bring them to life. Next, we're going to introduce our characters to the scene. 
They're also found in the Elements tab under Graphics. I'll start by searching for the pumpkin. When I find it, I'll drag and drop it onto our newly created template. And I'll do the same for the avocado and the cupcake. After you finish doing it for all items, you finished your template. Let's continue with creating our scenes. Start by duplicating the template in Canva. Next, add the voiceover for your first scene. To do this, go to the Upload section in Canva and upload the voiceover for the first character in your script, which in this case is the avocado. Once uploaded, adjust the length of the scene so it's slightly longer than the audio file. This ensures that your entire voiceover plays without getting cut off. Now, it's time to animate our first character, the avocado. Click on the avocado, then select Animate, followed by Create an Animation. To animate, simply select and drag your character around. Remember, the position where you stop dragging is where the avocado will end up in the final animation. For a playful, child-friendly movement, I recommend using the wiggle motion effect combined with a steady movement style. But don't hesitate to experiment and choose the effects that you like the most. All right, now let's roll up our sleeves and create the rest of our scenes. We'll be repeating the same steps for each character who has a line in our script. Next in line for our script is the pumpkin. So here's what I do. I head over to the template I whipped up earlier, give it a right click and choose Duplicate. Or if you're like me and love keyboard shortcuts, just hit Control plus C and then Control plus V. This new duplicate will pop up right next to the original. Just drag it over so it sits at the end of our scene lineup. Now, upload the voiceover file for the pumpkin scene. Once uploaded, drag the audio file to the new scene and adjust its length to ensure the entire voiceover fits. And now, let's bring our pumpkin to life with some animation, following the same steps we did before. Remember to position your characters in the same spot where the last scene ended. This ensures a smooth transition, starting right where we left off in the previous scene. And voila, just like that, you've got another scene in the bag. I'm going to speed up the video now because the upcoming steps are pretty much the same as what we've already covered. However, if you'd like to view each step in more detail, feel free to watch the video at a slower speed. We're almost done. Now, we just need to add some music in the background. You have two choices for music. Either use the YouTube audio library or go to pixabay.com. If you've already made a YouTube channel, I suggest using the YouTube audio library. It's really good for finding music and it's free if you follow my steps. But if you haven't made a channel yet, why not start one? I put some helpful links in the description below that will help you to find a successful one. Let me show you how to pick music from the YouTube audio library. First, log in and search for the type of music you want. In this case, search for children-themed music. Make sure to also select the Attribution Not Required filter to filter your search results. Listen to different tracks and choose one you like, then download it to your computer. Now let's get our music into Canva. First, position the playhead at the start of your scene in Canva. Next, add your chosen music track to the video. It's important to keep the volume low so it doesn't drown out your voiceovers. Here's a tip. Split the audio file at the point where your characters begin speaking in the first scene. Adjust the volume to be consistent up to this point and then lower it once the story starts. This way, the music complements the narration without overwhelming it. As soon as you've fine-tuned the music, your masterpiece is ready. To download your work, simply hit Share in Canva, followed by Download. Make sure you select MP4 video as your format. Then just download your animation right onto your computer. Don't forget, you have the option to enhance your video with additional text, sound effects, or various scenes, although it's already quite impressive as it is. And now, the moment everyone's been eagerly anticipating, let's unveil the video. Welcome, friends, to the Great Garden Debate. 
Today, we discuss why eating healthy is important for every boy and girl. That's right! I'm full of vitamins A and C, which keep your eyes sharp and your immune system strong. I absolutely love the result. Just think about the potential if I dedicated a bit more time to it. This entire creation took under 10 minutes. The key to success here is maintaining consistency, unleashing your creativity, and ensuring your content is unique. Are you willing to start creating multiple videos a day using Canva? Comment down below. Let's chat. Some of you may be aware that my channel is associated with Matt Parr. He provides a variety of secret growth tactics for making money online in 2024 using YouTube cash cow channels. If you're interested, you can find his 100% free course under the description. It shows you how to make up to $30,000 each month online, just like he does. If you enjoyed this video, then check out this video on your screen that I've selected just for you. Thanks for watching.